Alright. Yeah. Finish this off. I think we're just on music videos now, to be fair. Which means I might have to block this out, a lot of them out, but... Um... I'm going to put the whole thing, every part, up on Rumble, anyway. But yeah. Let's go.
Do you know what? I don't know if I've actually seen that video. And obviously I've heard that song. I've like reacted to it. But also it's, do you know what I mean? We've done loads of Queen live and like I know that song. But I don't think I've ever watched a video. And the video is actually great because it really... Like I've heard this song loads of times. But this was like the first time where I literally was mainly focused on the backing vocals. The backing vocals to that are... In, because normally, do you know what I mean? You're kind of... It just adds to the sound. Like, it just, yeah. It's just the overall sound. of. But where they actually had them, like, pretty, basically on screen all the time, it draws your attention to actually how good the backing vocals are. And I loved the bit where Brian's playing guitar and it still kept them standing there waiting and Freddie looked like he was already getting bored and then all of a sudden they just come back in singing that was well good but yeah the backing vocals on that I've like I've never listened to that song all the way through where I'm mainly focusing on the, just the backing vocals and they are they are incredible but yeah let's go Gonna get a rough balance. So I think. Do you know what as well, thinking about it here, like again, I'm, I don't know why, but kind of watching them doing it like this is making me think of both of them songs in a different way. Because when people say, oh, I don't like Queen because they're like up themselves, that does kind of make sense. Now, I've never looked at it in that kind, because to me, that song has always like a... Um, it's almost like a happy birthday. 
We Are The Champions to me. Like, it's a song that feels like it is made for a certain... Like, do you know what I mean? I was mad into football. Every FA Cup, whoever wins, you're going to hear that being played around the stadium. When Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder in the trilogy, We Are The Champions was played like... To me, it's it's like a happy, but it's just something that like is it's a song kind of that I see that's just made for a specific time. Like, and to me, it's always sporting events that that song seems to come up. But then looking at it in the context of just a band releasing a song that says we are the champions, yeah. Like looking at it in the different context. It does seem a little, uh, yeah, big-headed, but also hilarious because, I, like I say, I've just never thought of it, that song like that. It's just, yeah, to me, like, happy birthday. It's made for us, like, a. it's the perfect song to play when someone's won something. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. But, yeah, that's crazy. That is quite funny, actually, that... Yeah, I've always thought I don't get that. I don't get that when people say that because they have such a light, like on stage. There's such a, even with Freddie. I know Freddie does kind of some over this, but there's always a kind of tongue in cheekness about what he's doing, and and a kind of cheeky, like underlying humor in pretty much everything with Queen, which kind of I think if you have that, you can't be up yourself. People that are up themselves don't have a good sense of humour. But if you're just someone looking on the outside and all of a sudden here comes a band called Queen. (laughs) (laughs) With a song called We Are The Champions. Yeah. Maybe you might think they're a little (laughs) big-headed. But I do think that's genius. But hold on two seconds. All right, let's go. (laughs) such a great tune 
That's such a great tune, and it's one of Freddy's lies that he only knows three chords on the guitar because that song doesn't have three chords. It has three chords in the like main bit, but then it goes off into B minors and yeah. Unless, of course, Brian kind of put the bridge in, but yeah, Freddy's tells Porky's on stage on that bit. Also, the key that song's in isn't a standard uh, key on a guitar either. It's not E, A, B. It's D, G, A. No, G, D, C, A, I think. Or D, G, C. But that's what I mean. It's not, it's not like, yeah. It's not like basic, what someone basic knows on a guitar. So slashed and torn. Pressure. 
I know they say that David Bowie was like proper listening in on Freddie, but I've always thought that that really is. I've always thought that was a great. That literally sounds like a Queen and a David Bowie song. It's got both of them really in there. Like the main bulk of it is the Queen. And then you get like. A man sitting on the fence. That, that bit is just so David Bowie. And there's like little Bowie kind of bridges. Bowie bridges. <laughs> but I've always thought that that was a great. Um, a great representation of two artists in one song. Like it actually, it wasn't a case of like they sung a Bowie song or like it. Well, they did write it together, but it like it has that. Yeah, I just thought that is one of the greatest collaborations in terms of that. In terms of that, you can clearly hear the divide of Bowie and Queen, but they combine great. It's just, it is like what DJs do today, but they just kind of done it like wrote it in a song. If I was to put, right, watching this video, and if someone had said, watch this video, one of these men is gay, which one is it? I actually think Roger would be my, why does Roger look so delightful? <laughs> Roger! <laughs> yeah, why does he look like... Alright, Freddy with the moustache, but... Other than that, I mean, well, they all look pretty camp in what they're wearing. But, I mean, if I was to actually put money on it, I would say Roger, not Freddy. Why is Roger looking so fabulous, darling, <laughs> as Freddy would say? <laughs>
Well, well, we finished it. That is crazy, no, that song. Because that is amazing when you see him do it live. And it's crazy that that was actually an idea. Well, I think it was Freddie's idea, wasn't it? But the clapping bit. And it shows you that they put it in the video. So it shows you that they had intent on that bit becoming part of the live show. And it really worked. Like, that is amazing. When you see that many people do that. Like, it. Yeah. Yeah. But these was actually well good, these like outtakes and that, because it like it really is hard to know when Freddy's messing around or when he's actually doing something for the camera. Like when he's just moving the hands up <laughs> the thing, like and you think you it's hard to like you think does he know that it's a cut in the taking? Do you know what I mean? And he's just kind of messing around, or is he actually doing it to be in the video? Yeah. This was actually, yeah, because I thought it was just going to be like a run through of the music videos, really, but this was actually a lot better where you kind of saw, yeah, basically them messing around and laughing and <laughs> Freddy looking at his words. I've got a twitch in my left eye. Right, and I've worked with a Romanian matey that said, "If you have a twitch in your, if you have a twitch in your left eye, it means you're gonna meet someone from your past, someone bad from your past, and if it's in your right eye, someone you're gonna meet someone new that's good in your life or something like that that brings good to your life." And my left eye's twitching, so whoever I know who's coming back, yeah, don't bother. But yeah, no, that was good watching the like outtakes and yeah, like I say, them just messing around. Yeah. And it also like, again, they're not songs still to this day that I would go to. Like, if I was going to, if I'm in the mood to listen to Queen, it's not going to be We Are The Champions. Actually, uh, we will rock you the fast one. Yeah, that could quite possibly go on. But to me, it's going to be Sons and Daughter, is it? Sons and Daughters. Because on the same album, it's Father, Son, Father and Son. And I'm always not sure quite what one, what word is in the which place with them. But that one... um. I want you to be a mouth. Yeah, that tune. That's great. Do you know what, actually? Stone Cold Crazy, even now, because I killed that when, like, I first started liking Queen. I just, I'll probably listen to that song on repeat. It's only a couple of minutes. And I must have listened to that on repeat for at least 72 hours. Like, I was obsessed with that. Dragon Attack actually is one, because that's one I forget. Uh, now I'm Here would be one I'd put on, but I always think it's called Here I Am. <laughs> Which is, I guess is kind of the same thing. But yeah. Yeah, that's the reaction. We finally finished it, and uh, yeah, and also I'm gonna put them all up on Rumble anyway, if I've had to block it out. So yeah, but yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.